Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making Korean tuna patties. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, and watch me cook! Here are the list of ingredients you guys are going to need. Use your substitutes and this will be gluten free and diabetic friendly. So to get started, I am using a red onion here. You can use white. I did not have any white onions, so I ended up using a red one because this was the only one that I had and it was in the back of my pantry. So you're going to see me cutting it up in all weird looking shapes. Don't worry about it. This is not what you need to do. Just half a cup of diced onions is all you need. Use whatever cutting method is comfortable for you. This is supposed to be a very easy recipe. No other ways to go around this. It's just a simple recipe to make and anybody can make this because it's really that easy. But this is the way that I am cutting my onions. Most people cut it this way, some people don't. If you're a newbie, I know you probably don't because it's probably harder or you're not comfortable with your knife yet. But just make sure you use a sharp knife, hold everything together and measure it out so you get half a cup of onion and then we're gonna throw that right into a bowl along with the rest of our ingredients. So let's get started. To start, make sure you go ahead and drain all of your tuna cans. It does not matter if it was in oil or water. Mine is in, I think two of them were in water and the other one was in oil. You're gonna drain it out as much as possible anyways. And it's just gonna look like this and you're just gonna scoop, and, scoop them all right out into the bowl. Next up is just opening two eggs and cracking them right into the bowl as well. Grab two garlics and mince them up or have them pureed like mine to equal about two minced garlics worth. Then add half a cup of your panko crumbs. You can use the gluten-free kind like I am or you can use the regular kind, it really doesn't matter. Make sure they're plain though and not seasoned. Go ahead and add your pinch of salt and pepper and then grab your sesame oil and just add three teaspoons of this right into the bowl as well. As you see, I can kind of just, I kind of move mine around just to make sure I kind of get it evenly distributed in my bowl. Now grab your all-purpose flour or your gluten-free flour that you can find in the stores as well. And we're gonna use three tablespoons of flour for this. That's it for our ingredients. And all we need to do now is combine these ingredients very well right into the bowl. And as you can see, I started off with a spoon. The spoon wasn't working for me because I want to make sure these guys are completely mixed and combined very well with all the wet and the dry ingredients so everything sticks together when we start cooking it in the frying pan. So what I'm going to do is ditch the spoon and I'm going to end up using my hand. So with clean hands, go ahead and start mixing them up. Squish them all into your fingers to make sure that you have everything nicely combined. And if you guys come across any pieces of onions that's in a chunky block like this, just break them up when you start mixing them up again into your bowl. Continue to do this until everything looks like this. So far so easy, huh? All right, so all we need to do is get your skillet, a non-stick skillet pan, add a, like a tablespoon or two of oil in there, and I'm using my spoon just to kind of measure it out and make these tiny little patties, and you just throw them right onto the pan. And as you just saw, all I do is scoop it right into my spoon, Put it right onto the pan and then I'm going to flatten it with the back of my spoon to make sure I give it kind of that round shape and to make sure that it's flat enough where it's cooking through everything evenly. As you can see I got five on one pan. You're going to get about five per can so it's going to make 15 total. Just make sure you cook it for two to three minutes per side and since I put these down first I went ahead and just cooked it for two minutes and then I went ahead and flipped it. After I flip it, I'm gonna cook it between two to three minutes again, depending on how golden crispy it is that you want it to look on the outside. Three minutes will work perfectly for that. And once you're done cooking, this will be your end result. All I did with the sauce is just add rice vinegar, water, soy sauce, and sugar, a tablespoon of each, and then I kind of sprinkled a little bit of sesame seeds on there. If you guys wanna use that, you can. If you don't, you don't need to, it's not necessary. My family really loves these. I make these once in a while whenever I remember to or whenever I see like tuna cans on sale or whatnot. But I mean, super simple to make, perfect to eat with a few drinks if you'd like or just snacks on the side or appetizers, whatever it is that you guys wanna do with this. So if you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching Watch Me Cook.